Okay, in this video, we are going to add in the skybox and the helipad. And the pool. And the pool, yeah. We're well, going to add in the pool. pool. Let's do it. So, to add the skybox, let's talk about a skybox first. What is a skybox, Zach? A skybox is a way to simulate a sky-like environment around our level. That's right. Um, and usually what you what your first instinct would be to draw a big box around your um, level, and then mm -hmm. hollow it, and then apply the skybox texture. Okay. But with, if we did that here... The underside of our um, level, there would be a skybox texture here, and nobody would ever see that, so that would just be wasted, wasted resources. All right. So what we will do is create a box here, um, and we'll set our grid size to 16. And we'll zoom in here, and we'll find the wall, and go one one grid size above the wall okay. so that if we hollow in minus 16 we'll get down to a level where the we're right on top of the wall that's right um, we want to make the skybox a little bigger than the level since we're going to add some barrels that it will throw around and we will not want the barrels to bounce off the skybox sure you don't, you don't want to make a gigantic skybox that is just many, many, many times larger than your level. At the same time, if you're going to have any physics objects that can be flung around, you want to make sure that the player can't accidentally bounce, bounce those off your skybox. Sure. Totally breaks the illusion that they're out in the open. Okay, so this looks about good. I'm going to go ahead and select the tools, skybox, mm -hmm. um, excuse me, tools, skybox, um, texture, before we add it. Before we create it, and go ahead and right-click and create object. Okay. So now we have this gigantic skybox. We're gonna go to tools, make hollow, and make it minus 16. All right. Okay. And uh, now what we want to do is select the underside of our um, rooftop, mm -hmm. and go to the side view and duplicate it up here, so that we have a kind of a reference of when we will, how we will carve. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and tools, carve, and delete it. So now we have this skybox that's kind of round um, in a square shape so that we... Oh, we might want to drag it back a little bit here. Let's just give me two seconds. There you go. Oh, there you go. Here. Just like this. Seems the skybox wasn't entirely fit that when we carved it. So just like this. Um, now, is it okay that it looks like we have a skybox sitting on top of the wall, or am I crazy? We have it on top of the wall, but that should be okay, because um, we won't see the actual skybox. It'll all turn into a kind of 3D view, so we shouldn't be able to see it. Okay. Um, then what we want to do is go ahead and add the chopper pad or whatever. Mm -hmm. Helicopter pad. Helipad. Helipad. Uh, so we want these uh, kind of wiry things under the helipad to keep it up. Braces. Braces. That's right. Pillars. Pillar. Pillars. That, that'll work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create an object. That is a very little helipad. That oh, okay, that's change. one of the braces. Yeah, right. thank you. Uh, right click and create object and we do not want the skybox texture we do though want the texture called metal arc uh, all 4 b mm -hmm. so we can wrap this around and make it look like it's actually a, a metal arc go ahead and hit apply and right now it doesn't look too good so shift a Select the sides. Da, da, da. Actually, what we, what we want to do is go ahead and adjust it, its vertices first. Um, and we want this kind of uh, from the side view. No, actually. Kind of a slanted look? Yeah, slanted look. So we'll select all these vertices up here. Take them a little to the side and select the vertices down here. Drag them in a little bit. Just like this. It'll work much better. Um, All right. Then what? Actually, let's go ahead and adjust these two just a little bit. So there we go. Um, now what we want to do is go ahead and 
just quickly add the, the helipad. It will just be a big box. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and turn the grid settings up a little bit. And snap this to the grid. There we go. <laughs> just like this seems okay. We want to make it smaller since we don't want a really wide helipad. Uh, turn the grid size down just a little bit, and there you go. That would that would work for a helipad. Uh, right click. Yeah, helicopters aren't that heavy anyway. Nah. Um, go to browse. It's not like a 747 anyway. Go to browse and just apply a random texture right now. We're going to texture it later. Apply. Um, then what we want to do is select this and with this press shift A to get the edit sheet up. Adjust that texture. Adjust the texture because right now it doesn't look too convincing. Mm -hmm. uh, what we want to do is go ahead and rotate it a bit. Uh, let's say 90 degrees. 90. Degrees. But not entirely 90. Uh, there you go. Just, just so it fits. So it kind of flows with it. Okay. Also, what we want to do is go ahead and change the scale just a little bit. So, about there looks... Hmm, just a second. New, um, yeah. So, just play around with it. Uh, it's not really a, there's not really a book to how this works. So, you just have to play around with your textures. We probably set that one to 90 degrees of rotation. Yeah. 90. Yeah, that seems to work. Uh, there you go. So these two look pretty nice. Let's see if we can do something about these two. Um, let's see. I think it might look a little better if it didn't kind of flare out as it went upward. Yeah, let's try Because your it. texture doesn't do that. This looks kind of good. Uh... And so you'll probably have an easier time if you make the uh, the edges parallel instead oh of having yeah. one go out and one go up. Um, we can do that. So go ahead and change the vertices. Go to the side view. Uh, maybe adjust the grid settings just a bit. There we go. Just like this, and let's see. Yeah, this looks much better. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to select these two sides again and da -da 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 -da. maybe so about there. This will work for now. Um, this kind of pillar thing. Kay. Now, what we want to do is make sure texture lock is turned on, mm -hmm. so that when we duplicate it, rotate it, and it won't mess up the texture. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move this under the helipad. So let's find our helipad in the... There we go. Uh, under the helipad, duplicate it. Duplicate it, whatever. Um, oh, we'll make sure to hold down the shift key, else it won't really duplicate. Uh, mm -hmm. Three times in one side. And you'll notice th there's this kind of arc still. So what we could will do is go ahead and shift drag it over to the other side, right click and say flip objects in the horizontal um, I mean flip objects in the vertical so now the objects change their change in vertical and looks nice. much better um, so that will actually do for the helipad runner, we want to move this up just a little bit so that it doesn't seem like the they actually Get, get through the mm -hmm. helipad. So it's not poking up to the floor. Right. Um, then we're going to go ahead and add a pool right here. File, save. We're going to texture it in the next video. So, But the pool, what we want to do is go ahead and make an object. Mm -hmm. 
and make it around here. And actually, let's go ahead and turn down up the grid size. There you go. There. There. And instead of making a block, we want to create a, s a cylinder. Right click and create the object. And maybe apply another texture just for now. There you go. And when we create a uh, cylinder, we want to carve the cylinder into the floor. Mm -hmm. uh, but if we just did it now, we would get all sorts of funky shapes because um, when we carve, it ha has to create uh, squares all over the place. Right, so you don't want to carve a complex object. So what we will do is um, take this and put it down into the floor. Mm -hmm. But before we carve it like this, uh, you usually shouldn't carve a complex object, but if you have to, you can make a uh, box around, a block around it, mm -hmm. uh, tools, and carve this. So you carve out the actual box, or do you need to create that object? Oh yeah, I need to carve? create the uh, box. Do you need to undo now? Create. No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, go to tools, carve. And then we'll go ahead and s uh, select the, sp the square we made. Mm -hmm. Go to tools and carve this. And you'll notice over here there's all sorts of funky shapes, but not the entire plane is messed up now. Right. Um, so we've constrained all of the, the harsh cutting into that original cube. That's right. Um, so now what we want to do is go ahead and make this... Actually, turn down the grid size again to 16. Uh, we have the the sh shape selected mm -hmm. and we're going to go ahead and scale it up a little bit so we have a pool area mm -hmm. uh, we want to go to the top view and move it in just a little bit so that we can scale it out in 16 no actually what we want to do is go ahead and tools make hollow and not minus 16 but plus 16 okay and then we want to go ahead and delete not, actually, we won't delete the top just yet. We're going to go and put it into a visibility group because we'll need this later. So create a new one that's called Trigger. Press OK. Uh, now what we want to do is go ahead and take this object into, into the 2D view and copy it. Mm -hmm. Press it in just a little bit and do the same uh, from the side view, front view, I mean, and just like this, and now we want to take this and scale it up. So you're actually making the water so now, itself. Yeah, the water will have to have its water shade on top of it, and then a no draw shape under it. Okay. So let's go ahead and apply the. Uh, uh, just a second. The tools, no draw shape to the entire thing mm -hmm. and then go ahead and shift A and choose the texture on top go to browse and type in water mm -hmm. and choose some more, there's cheap water and expensive water and cheap water is easier on your machine and expensive water is, right, makes it work more looks better but it's a little harder we're going to just choose the cheap one now, apply it oh. yeah, and we still have the no draw down here, but on top we got the water texture. Gotcha. So the textures look kind of funky now, but let's go ahead and test this out. So just run the map, press OK. Cool. And more loading time. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Loading. Uh, pro we probably won't be able to see that much right now because uh, we have lights in here, so there's no global lighting. Mm -hmm. It seems we have something to fix up here. We'll deal with that later. Uh, a hole in the roof. Yeah. Ooh, it's kind of dark and creepy. Yeah, because we have here. some lights, so the default light is turned right. off. But if we go over here, we'll notice that there is indeed water. Mm -hmm. We got the helipad up, and it looks kind of good with this texture on. At and least in silhouette, it looks really nice. Yeah, nice silhouette, and yeah. there's the water. 
Um, cool. Now, in the next video, we want to go ahead and edit that thing in the roof. Plus, we want to go ahead and add a ladder so that we can go on top of the rooftop and add some other props. Okay, cool. Well, that'll wrap it up for this video. Let's go ahead and get back over into Hammer. And thanks a lot.